All right, somebody was asking me about wiring. So here, I got my ECU and stuff and wiring back from uh, Subi stuff, how I have it wired up. Again, I am not an electrical expert. You know, my wiring is a little cluttered. I'm sure one day I'll organize it and get it looking real nice, but for now, it works. All right, so coming from the motor, I have just basically running from the back seat. These are the cables that are coming from the wire harness. Here's your relays for your starter and your uh, or ignition and your um, fuel pump relay. That, that stuff you should save off of your old car. Um, how I have mine wired up is I basically just have... I got this little fuse box from, uh, which we'll call it, from AutoZone that I got wired up to it right now. Uh, you do completely take out the relay. You do not need the relay at all, or not relay, I'm sorry, regulator from the old Beetle. So right now, as you can see here, I have the wires wired directly to each other. I have the power coming from the front connected directly to the power going to the battery um, and then I have the red going so basically you're gonna bypass them so the two, two big red wires connected to each other you're gonna connect to those uh, as you can see I don't have the ground cable connected here because I have it grounded uh, from the alternator to the battery into the body in the back so you don't need that uh, other than that, you're going to connect the blue and the green cable here. If you can see that, yeah. You're going to connect the blue and the green cable here. This black cable, again, nothing. It's just the ground. You can leave that if you want. I don't have anything connected to that. and It works just fine. No problems. Um, yeah, the rest of the stuff just goes right through. So it's really just the green and the blue you're going to connect together. Um, and that, I believe, is for your oil pressure. I think that's oil pressure. Again, not an expert. And then basically, when you get your, if you go through Subi stuff like I did, when you get your alternator back, or your ECU back, um, you're just gonna, everything's gonna be labeled like this here. See, so like, here's my engine light, didn't need an engine light. These are for AC, don't need those. And it's really simple, really simple. So for me, I have my VSS. I got the $3 VSS hack that I have connected to my rear wheel there. So I can get my uh, speed sensor. The ignition is connected here. And that's running to the back there. I've got my 12 volt lead coming from here. So I've got my battery hooked up here. My battery is coming over to this to my fuse box here and then connected to this guy here this is for I think this is a secondary relay for my fuel pump yeah I got a big fuel pump so I got a, I got a secondary relay there for my fuel pump that I have powered there I have um, let's see I have this guy grounded I have the uh, ECU grounded to the body here you know, it works just fine. So, you know, I got a lot of excess wiring here. <laughs> um, so what I ended up hooking up is there's my tachometer. I have the speed sensor hooked up, the VSS hooked up. Um, this is connected to... I think my battery. All right, I think this one was the start wire yeah I think this wire is the start wire it it detects when the uh, start when you're starting your motor or something like that yeah that one was a little confusing for me but for this one you're gonna just run it through and connect to your e to your ECU to your start wire coming from the front yeah that one confused me a little bit I didn't know exactly how I hooked that one up and I called and they helped me out or Maybe it was the ignition. Yeah, I think this one is just the ignition sensor here. 
Um, other than that, it's a pretty simple setup because I think it's only really just like five or six cables. There's a fuel pump connect cable. It's super simple. Um, this one is the radiator fan. I don't know if you can see that, it's a radiator fan. Really sim simple, really, really simple uh, setup. You know, all together, I think I only had like one, two, three, four, five. I think it's like six cables that you have to connect to the Beetle system in order to get, get it connected correctly. Other than that, that's it. It's super simple. You know, I it literally took me just a, an hour or two to figure it all out. You know, and then get everything connected. Other than that, you know, that's it. So, for, yeah, the guy who's asking about my relay, there you go. So, I'll, again, you know, as far as the regulator, the regulator by bypass, that's it. You're just going to hook up your green, your green to your blue, which I believe is your uh, oil pressure light, your ignition, and your power. And you're just gonna put the powers together and hook up your power to your main power lead. That's it. I have the alternator wired up two places. I have the alternator wired up here, which is a, li a live wire here, and then I have a, the alternator directly wired to my battery. For some reason, I had a li an issue where my alternator wasn't charging my battery enough. I don't know why, but after running a wire, this wire, I think here, directly from my alternator to my battery took care of my problems I was having I don't know why I was having that weird power drain but after that that took care of all of it you know I've got an Optima battery you know you don't need to go with an Optima battery but that's what I have and it works just fine again it's my budget bill I didn't, I didn't pay anybody to wire it I wired it all myself you know it's kind of jerry-rigged but it works <laughs> all right if you guys have any questions feel free to ask